I'm Rachel with Entertainment Tonight. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. it's a pretty amazing way to celebrate my birthday. I'm happy. I say so. So is, tonight after, is tonight's after party going to turn into your official birthday party? I think, you know, all the cast are here, a lot of the crew are here. This was an incredibly difficult job to put together, so I think we're all going to celebrate together, celebrate the work. I'm not really a birthday person, so no? it's kind yeah. of, you know, interesting that this has fallen on this night, yeah. but I'm just really happy to be here. Awesome. Happy birthday. We hope you have been able to celebrate well today. Well, and like you said, today is quite the celebration for this, but you are serving double duty here. You're wearing multiple hats. The first time that you've executive produced a television show. You're also starring in it. So how was it juggling the two hats on set, especially whenever the topics are so heavy? It was interesting. It, you know, the, the producing side of things was a really steep learning curve. Yeah. You know, being on set, performing in this role, going to those dark places, while also, you know, handling certain issues that happen on every day on a film set was a little bit overwhelming, but I had an amazing team of people. Alexandra, Akiva, Ali, all of the people at Apple were so supportive of me, so. So much so that you're wanting to do it again? Oh, I would do it again for really? sure. Absolutely, I okay. loved it. I like Being a part of the edit, working with the producers, building the show, casting. Everything, I loved it. How much of yourself started to blend with this actual character, Danny? Because like I said, some of the topics are super heavy. Did you feel like the two were intertwining? And what did you do to just like unwind and step away from character on set? It's interesting. I don't think emotionally I was blending with the character, but I just couldn't escape his look because I had that crazy haircut. Dude. I'd come home from work, I'd have the circles under my eyes, I'd see myself in the mirror, and Danny would be looking right back at me. So as soon as we wrapped the show, as soon as we walked off set for the first time, Rachel took the shears, cut my hair right off, and I was good. That haircut was something else, man. Yeah, I don't think that's going to become a trend after no, this. Please yeah. don't. One and done. What, is, what hasn't been one and done, of course, is Spider-Man. Five years ago was your first one, Homecoming. Mm -hmm. um, fans cannot imagine anyone else assuming the role. How long do you think you'll carry on the torch of Spider-Man, buddy? I think as long as we can do justice to Peter Parker, as long as we can keep elevating the IP, and making the films better and making them mean more than I'll be there. I'd be stupid to say that I wouldn't be the luckiest kid alive if I got to do it again. There's stuff going on, but we'll have to just wait and see what happens. Honey, we know there's stuff going on. Yeah, I heard. There's a lot going on. Yeah, Amy Pascal loves a headline. She does, oh, and yeah. we do too. <laughs>